Hey, I'm Nikki Boyer and welcome to Morning Canvas. Here is your daily dose. So I'm thinking that James Franco is a vampire or something because there is no way that he gets any sleep ever. Earlier this year, he released a book of poems. He's on the big screen in the ensemble Third Person. He's currently on Broadway in Of Mice and Men. And now comes word that he's directing an off-Broadway play that will run from July 7th to August 23rd. Not quite sure how he can be in two places at once. Maybe he's figured out how to clone himself. While summer has finally started here in the Northern Hemisphere, everyone south of the equator is currently experiencing winter. Right now, New Zealanders are welcoming the cold temperatures with the Queenstown Winter Festival. This is a 10-day celebration that includes street parties, musical performances, competitions, and some wacky snowy events. This festival is huge. About 45,000 New Zealanders attend the event every year. This Sunday, the musical After Midnight closes up shop after eight months on Broadway. Even though this Jazz Age review earned critical acclaim and seven Tony Award nominations, poor ticket sales is forcing the show to come to an early end. During the run, they were able to enlist high-profile talent like Fantasia, Vanessa Williams, and Patti LaBelle, who will be the one to sing the final performance. Appearances from Natalie Cole and Gladys Knight had to be canceled. There's a barista in Brooklyn, New York, that takes coffee art to a whole new level. Michael Breach is able to turn the foam of a latte into amazing designs of people's faces, city skylines, and more. If you take a look at his Tumblr account, you can see his creations of celebrities like Nicolas Cage, Emma Stone, Ernest Borgnine, and Winona Ryder. Hey, and remind me next week to tell you about the lady that creates art out of cornflakes. It's true. This Sunday brings an end to the latest Hollywood Fringe Festival. The purpose of this annual event is to give artists and performers a platform without confining them to strict rules or boundaries. The festival is all about cutting edge points of view. Some of the shows produced include a version of Shakespeare's Hamlet, mashed up with Mad Max that is set in a post-apocalyptic universe, and Twelfth Night gets the Night of the Living Dead treatment. Thanks so much for watching, and make sure to tune into the full morning canvas every weekday from 7 to 9 a.m., and I'll see you tomorrow.